Here's the situation. You're one of a group of humans who've been kidnapped by aliens and whisked away into outer space aboard a UFO. The aliens are about to dissect you and the other humans and use your body parts to conduct experiments. You have only one chance of survival. The aliens need to keep one human alive to test human mathematical intelligence. To decide which human lives, they set a difficult multiplication problem. The human that solves it first will be saved from the dissection table. You have no calculator, no smartphone, no computer. What are you going to do? Call the multiplication guy. It's time to multiply with the multiplication guy. I'm going to show you an easy way to solve difficult multiplication problems. For example, 513 times 34. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, you can work along with me. The first thing you need to do is draw a box. Subdivide the box into three columns because the first number, 513, has three digits. You also have to subdivide the box into two rows because 34 has two digits. You end up with a box subdivided into six smaller boxes. Next, draw a diagonal line through each of the six small boxes. You might find you can draw a diagonal through more than one of the smaller boxes at a time. That's step one. Draw a box. Subdivide it into smaller boxes and draw diagonals through them. Next, write the first number, 513, along the top of the box. So each digit lines up with a column. Write 34 down the right-hand side of the box so each digit lines up with a row. Now, we're ready to do some multiplication and fill in the blanks with our answers. You'll need to know your times tables. If you're stuck, you can look up a multiplication chart. But you can't use a calculator because there are none aboard the UFO. I'm just going to start multiplying and show you how to fill in the blanks. Let's start with 3 times 3. That's 9. 9 is less than 10, so put the 9 below the diagonal and a 0 above the diagonal. 3 times 4 is 12. The 1 goes above the diagonal and the 2 below. Let's move over to the next column. 1 times 3 is 3. Remember, 3 goes below the diagonal and 0 above. 1 times 4 is 4. Again, 4 goes below the diagonal and 0 above. Now let's do the final column. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. Done. That's step 2. Multiply and fill in the blanks with your answers. Finally, we're going to add up the numbers along the diagonals. I'll circle each diagonal and show you what I mean. The first diagonal only has one number, 2. So write 2 directly below the diagonal. The next diagonal has three numbers, 9, 1, and 4. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 4 is 14. Write the 4 below the diagonal and carry the 1 across to the next diagonal. 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 3 is 4. Write the 4 below the diagonal. 5 plus 2 is 7, so write 7 next to the diagonal. There's only one number in the final diagonal, the number 1. So write 1 
next to the diagonal. Now we just read off the answer. 1, 7, 4, 4, 2. 513 times 34 equals 17,442. I'm going to check the answer on my calculator, but I'm allowed to do that because I'm not on board a UFO. 513 times 34 equals 17,442. So the answer's correct. That's why they call me the Multiplication Guy.